My name is Neil Rippingale. I'm the Training Programme Manager for the Dry Stone Conservancy. We're a non-profit organisation based in Lexington, Kentucky, and we travel all over the United States uh, training and uh, promoting the craft of dry stonework. This is a retaining wall, and the reason for this retaining wall, this was all one field going back in the 1772, 1771, thereabouts. And um, what they actually found here, Mark Bird actually established the, the iron furnace here at Hopewell. And uh, to power the furnace with the, um, with the oxygen for the furnace, there was a head race here. This is called the East Head Race. On this head race here, there was water run down this swale here, and it ran about a mile all the way from up in the woods there. And uh, running a mile, a great piece of engineering, all the way down there, only about six inches of water ran at a time. And that was sufficient to power a 23 foot uh, wooden wheel that actually powered the bellows on a piston basis. And it was absolutely incredible. So that fired the furnace. So there's a great piece of history here. While we're doing the workshop, the National Park Service, Jeff, uh, Jeff Finch, he actually does the philosophy of preservation as well. And by that, uh, it shows us the character defining features of when this was actually refurbished in 1939. And it was done by the CCC, the Conservation uh, Trust, uh, they did this work. And um, it was a bit suspect at the time. And uh, what it really needs is a cap on the top here. But what we call the character defining features, we have to leave it the way that we found it with uh, respect to the masons and some quality as well. But that really bit covers uh, what we've been doing here. And when we first came here, we couldn't actually see this uh, project. It was all covered with weeds and uh, vegetation, but you can now see the swale back into the way it was in the, the 1700s. Um, the, the dry stone work, um, well, especially in America, there's been a lot of Scots and Irish brought the skills over through the Appalachian Trail. And uh, the Scots and Irish came the, down the Appalachian Trail, they brought the recipes, brought their music, they brought their skills, and they settled in Kentucky uh, predominantly with a, a lot of work there around about Lexington, where we're actually based. There's a tremendous amount of stonework there. It's the same geology as it, in the, um, Tennessee as well. So we've actually used the, the same techniques. Uh, the Irish travelled all over with the Scots as well. Um, so it's predominantly international. I think there's a great future for, uh, for young people and I think to keep their minds open in dry stonework. If you can start off with the basics, like a single face like this here, then you can uh, advance into doing freestanding walls. Uh, there was one in Australia we built was 22 feet high and it was 8 feet at the base. It was an architectural statement but there was 16 tons in a linear yard. So keeping your mind open to new ideas, um, working with the uh, landscape architects and engineers, uh, work with old and new, there's a, there's a great combination there. Yep, and check out our website on brystone.org.